Ciao, this is Esther. Alfred here. Of You, Me, and Sicily. Welcome back to our channel, or if you're new around here, welcome to You, Me, and Sicily. We've got a great show for you talking about some of our top experiences here in Sicily. That you should put on your bucket list when you come here. What's the first one, E? All right, the first one is going to be a cooking demo. Now, my first cooking demo I did here in Sicily in 2014, probably the second week I was here, I spoke zero Italian, and Mama Sicily, who I did the cooking demo with, spoke very, very little English, but we got it done, and it was so much fun. Now, take a listen here at what she says are some of the treasures here in Sicily. Typico della Sicilia, it's typical Sicilian food. L'arancino, famoso dappertutto. Noi siciliani siamo famosi anche eh, per altre cose, ma soprattutto per gli arancini, per i cannoli, per la cassata, per il sole, il mare. Non troppo. Sì. Mozzarella. Mozzarella. A little more bread okay. on top. Ok, e ora facciamo la chiusura. Mm -hmm. Eccola qua. Ok. Is, is arancina. Arancina. That's an arancini. Dice per fare le arancine per la piramide. Yep, a pyramid. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok. Ora, ecco così. E infine, mm -hmm. May I? Ok, ora fai tu. Okay. Attenta, leggero, diglielo, leggero so, la pressione. So. so. Esther, un colpo solo. One, uh, one, one. Scusami, scusami. Sì, sì. Wow. Ok. Adesso. Can you do that again? Ok. Vuoi provare tu? Ok. Ok. Sì, poi tira verso di te. Ok? Ok. Vai. Inclina la padella. No? Yeah. Così. Ok, vedi, brava, brava. E poi tira. Benissimo. Ci siamo. No paura. Bravissima. Azione, vuoi fare tu? Try you. Ok. Vai. Okay. Metti al centro. All the way to the top. Beautiful. Pistacchio and uh, parmigiano. This is a typical Sicilian plate. Oh. It's the meeting of. It's the meeting of uh, the typical of a typical Sicilian uh, dish. Yeah. With uh, the nouvelle cuisine. It's troppo caldo, ti bruci. It's a little warm. Yes. Ora mm -hmm. però puoi assaggiare e mi dici wow. cosa ne pensi. It's beautiful. Okay. Okay. Mangia. Mangia. Okay. Ecco, almeno il morso. Brava! Ok, belli Giovanni! It's, it's delicate, I've eaten these my whole life. Aren't they delicious? Mm -hmm. This is how you make them, folks. Take good notes. Okay. Thank you. Grazie a te. Silvana. Grazie di essere This has been great. I learned so much about cooking and about the culture. Sì, grazie. And you, I can see and feel your passion. Sì. You love okay. cooking. Yeah. Sì. Grazie. Grazie a voi. Ciao America. <laughs> So you guys, we made arancini and we also made pasta fresca, fresh pasta with pistachio sauce. Now, I know many of you guys have done pasta at home, have done arancini, but every time you come here and you go to a different place, they make it different. Everyone has a different recipe. So it's so fun to do that, learn something new. And you know, there are also English speaking uh, cooking people all over the island. We know lots of them. The other thing I wanna tell you about cooking demos that some people do is they take you to the markets, go shopping to get all the ingredients. So that is one of my top things to do when coming to Sicily, cooking demo. The uh, cooking experiences in Sicily range in price, okay? From a private demonstration to a small group presentation mm -hmm. to a presentation where after you have the cooking demo, then you have a nice formal or dinner or something like that. So there's a lot of price points. Your hotel concierge can help you out, or as Esther said, she can obviously help us out. We have contacts all over the island, but I think a cooking demo is the most one of the most memorable experiences e that uh, people can come when they visit Sicily. All right, Alfred, you're next. What is my next topic, E? Well, 
<laughs> we uh, just made arancini, so why don't we go to street foods? Makes sense to me. Street foods. <laughs> well, okay. There's nothing like sitting on a, actually si- standing on a sidewalk, going up to a, some type of a kiosk and ordering something of a Sicilian nature. It's just a wonderful thing to do. And there's so many varieties, Z, that we'd be here forever trying to list some of the things. But I think on this next clip, we'll give you a representative sample of some of the things available. But not all. Hey, grill for you. Hamburger, salsicha, salvo, salute. Que está facendo? Polpette di cavallo. Cavallo, okay, horse meat. Salsicha, semplice che condita. One is the simple, one is with spices, e poi? Trinca di vitello. Vitello, beef. E polpette di vitello sulla foglia del limone. Hamburger. Come hamburger, vero? No, questo è, sì, in posto uguale, però ho fatto sulla foglia del limone, visto? Oh, look at that. Lemon foil. <laughs> Saluto a tutti. Ciao. Grazie, Salvo, ciao. Yum. Minus the horse meat. Yum. Stasera, se randa e se mangia. Who's made slow and low. It's got good smell, good bouquet. Very good bouquet here, Esther. You see the peas going on over here, a little bit of meat. Very good. Not great, but very good. I would say on the Alfred scale, about an 85, 87. Not bad. It's not bad. Very good. good. But I have to tell you guys that the street food here on the East Coast is far different than the street food on the West Coast. Some items are more prevalent here, like horse meat. Some items are more prevalent on the West Coast, like panela, which is the chick- uh, made out of chickpea flour, that sandwich, double carb blast. <laughs> you know, I don't want to defend eating uh, horse meat. All right, because I'm not a big fan of it, but the way Salvo cooked it, I swear to God, I was with a client, we went down there that day, and I really couldn't tell that that hamburger that you saw that was um, 50-50, whatever the heck it was, uh, tasted like horse meat at all. I remember one time in Dekestein, we went to a street festival, we were with a bunch of other people, and it was a pepper steak, right? And as soon as the camera was off, I I had to spit it out of my (laughs) mind. Uh, mouth. Uh, in Catania, there are actually four different gourmet restaurants that only specialize in horse meat from all different ways. You can't even tell. Panella is really uh, an acquired uh, thing. I like panella, but I don't like to put it in a sandwich. Because yeah, I just, it's nice just plain, right? Yeah, why do you have to put it but in a sandwich? But it's a quintessential West Coast uh, thing. The only Street thing food. And if I want to just tell everyone, we're not mentioning every street food but we're just saying go to the markets to street food vendor and try it even if you don't like it just try it the only thing e that i can't really eat besides horse meat on the east coast is on the west coast is that famous boiled spleen sandwich okay where they oh, yeah, where they the had meat. it in bagheria they had it in bagheria and some of my friends who come here to sicily they're wild about that and the same thing, obviously, with the palamins. They're wild about that. But since it's in a totally in a quiet taste, I, yeah. just, I just can't do it. I mean, it. back to horse meat over here on, well, all over the island, but especially here on the East Coast, I mean, people really love it. And so you've got to respect that. So that was street food. Some of street food. Just barely wetting before your whistle. We That's on, it. Before we move on, you know, it was also Crispelli, right? That's one of your favorites. Yeah, th- I mean, there's, there's so many. You just can't do them on one, but we wanted to do some offbeat ones for you. And What's your the, favorite? On a street food? Yeah. Where? Anywhere. Okay, here, I like a good Crispelli if it's cooked properly. The whole thing is cooked properly because a lot of these vendors, what they'll do is they'll cook them half half at the house and then they'll bring them on the street and then they'll cook them again and those things are like shot puts they're just full of oil and so forth if the guy makes it fresh right in front of your eyeballs then it's going to be good and by the way make sure you tell him ben cotto per favore well Well done done. because you want it nice and crispy my favorite are those little fish the calamari or the sardine or 
a poke salad. I love that. That sardine that you ate that time that we went in the that fellas mm -hmm. place over there, whatever that guy's name is in uh, Orgina. No, not Orgina. What was it? Orgina. Orgina, Orgina. Yeah, right. That stuffed sardine was terrific. And also the octopus terrific. salad. The octopus salad. The octopus. Oh, like, oh. That's another acquired I, taste. Octopus salad, if you either like it or you don't. And if it's either delicious or it's rubbery. That's how I feel about that. But it's a good thing to have. Next experience I think you guys should try is either going to a sheep farm where you can taste some fresh ricotta and see how the ricotta and also the cheeses are made. We went to a beautiful place in Salemi, Cucciara. We know some Cucciaras. Uh, it was a great experience because they took you step by step on how the ricotta is made, the cheeses are made. I missed. Questo bit formaggio. Try formaggio. Then you got to sample some warm ricotta with a piece of bread and a glass of wine. It was an experience I've never had before coming here to Sicily. But the other thing is also going to an olive grove, right? You know, there's nothing like getting one with the earth, as they say. In the, in the fall, people come here. There are many olive groves that need help, and many olive groves will accept uh, you know, volunteers to come, you know, climb up on a tree. And it doesn't have to be just an olive grove. It could be any, anything, fruits or vegetables. My friend, Anthony Campanella, he's a gentleman farmer mm -hmm. from Petroplasia, right? Is that how you say it? Yeah. All right. He could always use your, your help. And what he does is he'll give you, he usually gives you a bottle of oil, which, by the way, is very good. But not only him, of course, the big places, we've gone to many places over the years. But a lot of these places, yeah. you know, that you can come and have a little bit of a sampling of the olive oil and also to see the grove. It's a great, great experience, as Alfred said, to be one with the earth. The other one, of course, that everyone knows is a vineyard, but that's obvious. So, But we wanted to mention going to Ricotta and an olive farm, which is so much fun. So that's another fun excursion for you to do. You know, of course, you guys know, Sicily is an open museum, but there are also other museums that you may not have heard about. There's a whole range of different type of museums, ranging from archaeological museums, which are just spectacular, to funky museums like a Sicilian cart museum, for example. We even went to one in Valverde years ago. It was a seashell museum. Do you remember that seashell museum mm -hmm. by the place? There's also an Etna museum. Uh, there's an Etna museum. From Watu museums. But the Sicilian Cart Museum is extraordinary. Our friend Giuseppe Giuffridas has a collection that is unbelievable. He has collection from the Catania area, Ragusa, Palermo, because they're all different. The styles are different, the way they make them are different, the colors are different. Two different themes. In this part of the cart, we have uh, um, a, a reference to Napoleone. In, instead, in the key, um, uh, we have uh, the reference uh, to um, a very important Italian epic poem, uh, Orlando Furioso, written by Ludovico Ariosto. And he also has some Sicilian puppets, and the coolest thing, he has some antique cars because his dad is quite the car character. You know, Esther, we didn't say anything about a puppet show. Okay, but puppet shows are another thing that I think that you would love. This, uh, this kind of theater is um, a, a, a strong Sicilian tradition. You have to follow your particular, what you like and what you don't like. And it's very, e very easy to find. If you go to Google, you can go to Google Maps and things, then you press things to do in your area when you're in Sicily. And there's a million things that you there's can do. There's also a cart museum, I think, in Lingua Glossa around that area. Yeah. But they, there are cart museums splattered around the island. But this one in Tre Castagni is quite particular. And we met him first when he had the display up in Tarmina. It's the Jafrida family. They, you know, to make one cart, it takes three different people. From the guy that makes the iron, to the guy that does the painting, 
to the guy that uh, does all the carving. There's a lot of work, and some of these things and can someone cost, who assembles it. Some of these things cost tens of thousands of dollars, and even some of the pots of the mm -hmm. older ones cost a mint. So it's really a treasure. The cart was so, so important to the Sicilian uh, economy in the 16th and 17th and 18th and 19th century when there wasn't any roads. I have to tell you guys that the intricate art on some of these pieces are just stunning. My grandfather worked with uh, the Sicilian cart, yeah. uh, moved some stuff around the highland. But the reason that he started the Sicilian cart museum is so beautiful. His grandfather had a Sicilian cart and he used to uh, take around foods and uh, wine all over the island. So out of respect for his grandfather, he started the Sicilian Cart Museum and he has an unbelievable collection. But the cool thing is that Dolce Gabbana used some of the designs on his Sicilian carts for some of their handbags, some of their glasses, some of their Sicilian cart motif. That's something he's very proud of. And him and his family were also in some of the Dolce Gabbana ads. So the thing about Giuseppe, too, that I just love is that he's so modest and he's so thankful. You know, over the years, we brought many, many people there. And the way he explains about the Sicilian Cart Museums, about he talks about this art, this treasure, just warms my heart. Very modest, very beautiful, Definitely. beautiful Sicilian Definitely. man. So, Sicilian Cart Museum, put it on your list. Or any museum. I just want everybody to know that we're having a huge, huge clearance on all our merchandise, which, by the way, has been flying. The sizes are holding out okay, so if you're interested in something, everything is $17, uh, but you have to email Esther just to make sure we have the size that you want and the color that you want before ordering. And the second thing I want to let you know is that next month we're going to make an announcement about the famous Sterling Silver Trinacrias that we're able, we think we're going to get only 20 or 25 of them. If you're interested in that, I would suggest that you me message Esther as well. That'll be for spring delivery. Uh, at least have her save one for you. We, not, we won't ask for any money, et cetera, because we don't have them yet. But when we get them, at least you'll have a list to, to you know, we might be able to get rid of these things quickly and then try to get some more. So there's a lot of things happening right now, even though it's winter and rain today, <laughs> but it's a good time to just think about it and enjoy this. <laughs> When we talk about festivals, that means if there's 400 towns in Sicily, there's got to be 400, at least 400 festivals. There's the big ones in Catania, there's the big ones in Palermo, there's the big ones in Chaka at all different times of the year, ranging from uh, Carnavale, ranging from you name it, right around What's ranging Augusto, Also you, religious and also oh, food, the sagras, right? We There's just, the saga of pistachio, the saga of sardines, or was it anchovies? Anchovies. Anchovies, celebrating anchovies. Well, Imagine celebrating that. everything. We even think there's one called the saga of pesci spada. There's another one called the Sagra, uh, Sagra of uh, Carchofi, which are artichokes. The Sagra of, what was the other, Castani? Did I say Castani? Yeah. Celebrating life. Celebrating and life. Okay. Celebrating the, harvest, the earth. The harvest. So that's a great thing to do is to just meander around a, uh, a festival, a street festival that are just unbelievable. The colors, as to quote Esther, the colors... The sights, the sounds. <laughs> and the we'll flavors. Just, we'll get ingrained <laughs> in your soul. And the beauty is you can go to another one completely different different yeah, in and texture. Mo and mostly they're year-round. So you can find a festival year-round in Sicily, whether it's a food festival or a religious festival. Definitely. But even if you are not religious, you have to go and witness 
the religious fervor, the tradition, the culture that goes into all of these festivals. And with every festival, of course, there's plenty of street food and other foods to eat. So one, festivals. One that we didn't include here that we go, we almost go every year is the October Brata, the October festival in Zephyrana della Etna, where all the uh, guys and men and women who have little farms and grow some of the artisans, they put their stuff local on... Local products. Local products. They put their stuff on display. And that's another memorable thing. Unfortunately, last year they canceled it, but Trekestani had Well, they had, had a, a yeah. smaller version in yeah. Trekestani. So there's lots of places. But lots I have to tell places. you, what I love about that, too, is that Sicilians love to display their wear, their products, their work. They're so proud of it, and their presentation is always so beautiful. So... Festivals. How about the Christmas market, E? We just did the Christmas market. But that's we not, had, that wasn't a festival. No, well, it was but a it Christmas was local market, Sicilian but it was a local artisan. How about that lady with the loom? Brr, making stuff. I mean, it was <laughs> in weaving things. Crazy how beautiful that stuff was. All right, enjoy it. So, speaking about markets, how about visiting an open market? And I just don't mean going to a fruit and vegetable market or, you know, every town has a certain day where they have their markets. I mean go to an antique market that, like they have in downtown Catania or a market where they sell all types of things like clothing, uh, things for the bathroom, things for the house, jewelry, along with fruits and vegetables. It's such an experience just walking through there, seeing what they have for sale. You don't have to buy anything, but just so you get that experience of being out with the people. And one of my favorite things is just walking around and listening to the people. Pesce. Que pesce? Masculino. E questo? Calamara. They're bartering, they're asking questions, they're looking for colors, they're looking for sizes, and it's a nice little experience here in Sicily. My friend uh, Mike and I and Esther used to go to the antique market in uh, Catania. Mm -hmm. He used to like those huge bottles. The huge the glass bottles, bottles, the glass bottles with the big, you know, the round things that cost a lot of money in the States. And he, he used to buy them. He used to love them. And They're great finds. Yeah, that was one of the things. The other thing, and I like statues. Not the type that you say, not off telephone where you say, hello, statue. I'm not talking about that. <laughs> I'm talking about statues, small statues for the house. And we picked up some in um, Setacusa. No, excuse me, Noto. So over the years, we've accumulated a bunch and of stuff. And they have a market, too. Right before you go into the main uh, part of Noto, there's street vendors selling all types of things. So that's a cool little experience. And you get to see the you know what products are in style, cool Sicilian uh, motifs, so plenty of ternacrias, plenty of figurina, lemons, and, and so forth. It's a very yeah. colorful and robust experience for sure. The only thing I have to warn you about is when you buy jewelry, okay? I'll never forget the time I was in Noto. She had gone off and I wanted to get a replacement ring because my red ring I had, it broke after it wore out. So I got the street guy and I looked at that ring for, I don't know, a half an hour, all right? Because I wanted a red stone with the sterling silver, okay? And the guy says, oh, this will never, blah, 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 this and that. Or I paid 45 euro for it, which is about maybe 10% of what I should have paid. And here it is, I wore it until about a week later when the sterling silver began to wash off when I was taking a shower. Yeah, and it was copper underneath, right? <laughs> you remember that? I remember that. I was that. so irritated. I, got, I don't say I got ripped off, but I kind of got, you know, you have to watch yourself. That's the whole key. <laughs> All right, let's move on to another experience I think you could uh, try when coming here to Sicily. Of course, everyone knows the beautiful, majestic beaches. Of course, swimming is huge, but how about taking a boat ride? Oh, the boat rides off here in Acitrezza are just 
spectacular. Um, our guy, uh, Giuseppe, another Giuseppe, he also brings us snacks, he plays music, you can jump into the water. It's just such a great experience. And you see a different part of the uh, of the island, you see different colors, you see different vegetation because the vegetation along here, along the Ionian Sea, with the natural water flow that comes around Achireali, just creates amazing colors and very particular flora. You can also take, you know, a boat ride, let's say, from Castelmare to San Vitolo Capo. It's such a beautiful ride, Pescopello, Lo Zingaro. It's relaxing, it's not very expensive, and it's a different way of experiencing the island. Uh, the glass bottom boats are really treasures. They have one over here, or they had one over here I in Achitreza. But those are really good because as you look down, you look on the floor and it's like thick glass. And see if you could find one that has the thick glass. Also, around Taumina or around any of the big touristic places, take one of those small boat ride things that go into the different caves. That's There's right. Beautiful Here, they, caves. We went Azura to the caves. caves blue, huh? We went to the caves. Yeah, we went to the caves with the with guy. I remember we went with my friend right. Maria. Uh, we went into the caves. We jumped into the water. But we take clients all the time. It's a, just a great and unique experience, and it's so relaxing. And these so guys relaxing. that, like, you know, uh, row the boats, they're all, like, rippling muscles and so forth. So if you're into <laughs> that type of stuff, you get a free, like, little Chippendale thing for, like, zero. It's great. She loves it. <laughs> Take a boat ride. <laughs> Take a boat ride. <laughs> Talked about, we talked about boat rides, but what about in the sky? If you go to Catani Airport, you can take, you could rent a help, not you, but you could have a helicopter ride going all the way up the coast. That's great. The other thing that I would suggest besides a helicopter ride is when you go up to Messina, take the ferry. Take the ferry over into Messina, excuse me, into Calabria, and spend a few hours walking around the town there. I mean, have you ever taken a ferry across the Strait of Messina? Ferry? That's another How about thing. taking a ferry to the Aeolian Islands? I was just going to say that. That is such a... I went to Selena. Of course, we did a whole episode on that. But listen, we're going to stop at this list because we have many we more... We have 10 million things else we can talk about. ...on a future episode. We'll episode. do a future one, too. Uh, but first... All the outdoor ones. We'll focus a little bit on the outdoor, outdoor ones, ones that we didn't take... Uh, you know, the sport-type things that we didn't really uh, talk about uh, on the next episode, plus other fun stuff. Listen, I want to give a big, 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 big thank you to all our major sponsors. You'll see their names at the end of the video. It's because people like you, you've helped support this channel. Also, our community members, for one ninety nine a month, you help support our YouTube channel. So thank you, guys. And by the way, we just got some new equipment to make our stuff even better. And it would not have been possible unless you guys helped us out. So we are so appreciative. You know, Esther, you know why I do this? I mean, I love Sicily, obviously. But I do it for the people in the United States or Canada or Australia or UK or all these other countries that watch us. And believe me, People watch us from a lot of countries now. I do it for those who, for one reason or another, can't travel mm -hmm. here, okay? Whether it's for health or age or whatever it is. And that motivates me because with Esther... Motivates us. That's, it motivates us because yeah. Esther is, has, a, has a way to uh, express things and to photograph things. And I have a way to uh, talk about things that makes you, the viewer... Um, kind of experience it. I always say you're in the front seat with me. Sometimes that's just in the front seat with me. That means you're in the back seat. With we me. want to we bring want you Sicily to, have a good time. to you the experiences, yeah. the smells, the flavors as best as we can. That's we correct. thank you, thank you, thank you for spending this time with us and hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button, share it with a friend, leave us a comment. What else do you want to hear more about? And don't forget, we have many more videos coming to you from and about Sicily. I have something to tell you, a little scoop. Tell me. Esther did a video on how to make bacala 
coming. Which she is <laughs> editing right now, and we're going to sneak it into our production schedule within a week or two weeks. So you need to stay tuned for that, except you need to bring a piece of paper and a pencil to get this great recipe. By the way, subscribe to this channel if you want notifications on when that video will be uploaded. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a great day, you guys, and we'll see you on another episode. And what do you say, Al? Sabana Diga. Sabana Diga. Grazie mille per tutti. Ciao. Okay. Ciao.